Using a few simple commands, you can easily disconnect all devices from the Wi-Fi network. Hello everyone, this is SciCraft. In today's video, we are going to learn how you can use a deauthentication attack to disconnect any target from the Wi-Fi network. First, we will learn how it works and second, how we can perform it using Kali Linux and an ESP8266 microcontroller. So, let's get started. How deauthentication attacks work? A deauthentication attack is a way hackers disconnect devices from the Wi-Fi network. You might have heard about DDoS or DOS attack before, where websites get flooded and crash. A deauthentication attack is similar, but targets Wi-Fi connections specifically. Here's how it works. Wi-Fi networks use something called IEEE 802.11 protocol to communicate. Within this protocol, there are deauthentication frames. In a deauthentication attack, hackers misuse this frame to force the device to disconnect from the network without permissions. Wait, what are deauthentication frames? Let's break it down. In Wi-Fi networks, communication between a device and the router involves various management frames. These frames control how the connection is set up and maintained. Deauthentication frames are a type of management frames used to signal to a device that it should disconnect from the network. Think about it like this. When you manually disconnect from a Wi-Fi network on your PC, your PC sends a deauthentication frame to the router, saying, Hey, I want to disconnect. The router then says, Okay, as you wish. And the connection is terminated. It's like your PC is telling the router to disconnect and the router just compiles. In a deauth attack, we exploit this deauthentication frames to force our target to disconnect from the Wi-Fi network. There are two key terms you should know, spoofing and forging frames. Spoofing Spoofing in the context of deauthentication attack is a technique when an attacker pretends to be another device on the network. For example, our target is John and he is connected to the network. If I want to disconnect him from the network for some reason, what I will do is craft a fake deauth frame with John's MAC address and send that deauth frame to the router. When the router analyzes the frame and sees John's MAC address, it thinks the frame is coming from John. So the router disconnects John from the network. However, the deauth frame was actually sent by me. This is how the attack works. So our second term is forging frames. Forging frames means creating fake deauthentication frame that look legitimate. Now that we understand these key terms, deauthentication frames, spoofing and forging frames, let's walk through the entire process of deauth attack. So how do you actually perform a deauth attack? I will be demonstrating this on my router using Kali Linux and I will explain every single step so don't skip even a second. For this attack, you need a special type of Wi-Fi adapter that supports monitor mode. Regular Wi-Fi adapters don't have this feature. Monitor mode allows the network card to capture all the packets in the air. This is essential for performing packet injection attacks such as deauthentication attack. So this is our Kali Linux setup. Let's open the terminal. Now you need to log in as root. So type sudo su and enter the password. Step 1. We need to capture the MAC addresses of both the target device and the router. Each device on a network has a unique MAC address. To do this, we use a tool like AeroDumpNG, a tool that scans the network and records their MAC addresses. But before doing that, we need to put our Wi-Fi adapter into monitor mode. To check which mode the Wi-Fi adapter is currently in, we enter the command iwconfig. Here you can see our Wi-Fi adapter which is WLAN 0 is in managed mode. Now we need to change this to monitor mode. Before switching the mode, make sure to stop the network manager so it doesn't cause any problems. Use the command systemctl stop network manager for this. This has to be stopped because the network manager sometimes changes the Wi-Fi adapter mode automatically. That's why. And because I stopped the network manager, I am now disconnected from the internet and completely offline. 
Okay, now we are all set to change our mode to monitor. So there are three steps to change the Wi-Fi adapter mode. Step 1. You need to bring the Wi-Fi adapter down. To do this, type ifconfig wlan0 down. If the terminal doesn't return anything, it means the command was executed successfully. Step 2. Now change the mode by typing iwconfig wlan0 mode monitor. And step 3. Bring the Wi Fi interface back up by typing ifconfig wlan0 up. To verify if the mode has changed, type iwconfig again. Here you can see the mode has changed to monitor. Now we need to capture the MAC address of the router and the device connected to it. For that we use a tool called aerodumng. So let's use it. Just type aerodumng wlan0. wlan0. This is the network interface I am using. You can check your Wi-Fi interface by using iwconfig. Ok so just press enter. Now you can see our Wi-Fi adapter capturing the MAC addresses of nearby routers and the device connected to them. I think we have got enough info. Press Ctrl plus C to exit. Let's discuss the results of the scan. BSSID basic service set identifier. This is the MAC address of the router. Station. This is the MAC address of the devices that are connected to the Wi-Fi network. So this is our router. And this is the MAC address of the router. Just copy it. Below you can see my router's MAC address and the device is connected to it. I am picking this device as the target. So copy the MAC address of this device as well. We need this MAC address later. Step 2. Now we have the MAC address of our router and the target device. So let's start our deauth attack. Our end goal is to disconnect the target device from the Wi-Fi network. We use a tool called Airplay NG, which is used for packet injection and replay attacks. First, let me write the command. Dash dash deauth. This specifies that the command is performing a deauthentication attack. The zero means an infinite number of frames will be sent until I stop the command manually. That's A. This option specifies the MAC address of the router. This is the MAC address of the router. That's C. This option specifies the MAC address of the target device. And this is the MAC address of the target device. WLAN0 is the network interface I am using. You can see on the right side that we have the target device. Let's see if the target is connects from the network or not. So just press enter to run the command. As you can see the target immediately disconnects from the Wi-Fi and even if the target tries to reconnect to the Wi-Fi network it is unable to connect. Let's see how it works. The AirPlay NG tool sends deauthentication frame to the target device. I make these frames look like they are coming from the router by using its MAC address in the command. When the deauth frame reaches the target device, it sees the MAC address of the router and assumes that the router is telling it to disconnect from the network. So it disconnects. However, as you just saw, it's actually me sending the frames pretending to be the router. And as we specified 0 after dash dash deauth, it means that the deauthentication frames will be sent continuously. This ensures that the target device remains disconnected from the router. As long as the attack is running, the target can only reconnect to the router if I stop the attack manually from the terminal. Do you want to see how a deauthentication frame actually looks like? Let's dive even more deeper. Now I am using a tool called a Wireshark which is famously used by network engineers and cybersecurity professionals. In Kali, it already installed. Now click on a Wi-Fi interface to start capturing packets. Now you can see Wireshark capturing the frames. You will notice a bunch of deauth frames because the attack is still running. My PC is continuously sending deauth frames to the target device. Let's click on one of these deauth frames to inspect it. This is how a deauth frames looks like. 
As you can see, the type of this frame is deauthentication, which indicates that the frame is a deauthentication frame. These two addresses, the receiver and the transmitter addresses, are very important. The receiver address indicates where the frame is going. You can see that this address matches the target MAC address, meaning the frame is being sent to the target device. The transmitter address shows where the frame is coming from. You will notice this address is the MAC address of the router, which suggests that the frame is coming from the router. But as you know, the frame is actually coming from my PC. So why does it show the MAC address of the router? This happens because we specified the router's MAC address in the command. The AirPlay NG tool generates fake DOT frame and send it to the target, making it appear as the frame is coming from the router. Also, you will notice there is no information related to my PC. No evidence that the frame is coming from my device. This is why the attack can be anonymous. This is how we disconnect only one device from the network. But there is a way you can disconnect all devices from the Wi-Fi network. Let's see. For this, we again use the AirPlay NG tool. The command is AirPlay NG dash dash DL zero dash A MAC address of the APWN zero. Just press enter and see what's happened. As you can see, the targets immediately disconnect from the router. I hope this helped you to understand how this attack works. If it did, please hit that subscribe button, it's free for you, but a very valuable gift for me. If you don't have a Wi-Fi adapter with monitor mode capability, or you can get one because yeah, they can be quite expensive. You can also perform this attack using a Node MCU ASP8266 microcontroller. I've already made a video on this and I will attach the link in the description.